Well, we do cranial molding helmets for plagiocephaly. This has um, come about more often and probably in the last 15, 20 years you hear about it because of SIDS, sudden infant death. They became keep the child on their back, face up to wake up was the program. The problem is parents never let their child turn, move. They kept them on their back all the time. Children, as they're growing, the bones are very soft at that age. The skull hasn't formed solid yet. There's the, um, the suture lines within the skull, and all the pressure is always on the back of the head, or they're always turned to one side. The children, because of where they are, and they're always looking one way. They're also riding in a car seat. Their head is always back. They're always putting pressure in that one position. The skull is, at that point, is still soft. It's still growing. It still can be formed into a different shape, and they end up with a malalignment of the skull. When they're still young, we can put a helmet on there that's designed to control that so as it grows, we stop the pressure and the growth in one area to allow it to grow more in the other. It doesn't affect the, the child's you know, growth or ability in any way. It just reshapes that. Um, you mentioned we earlier do a lot of that. something about SID, about mm -hmm. the SID. Do you find this happening more and more that parents are doing this? I think beca because of that, it's where we saw a greater um, population of plagiocephaly children. Hopefully now, it will may die down a little bit more. I mean, the SID, you're still going to, you know, it's still the right idea that face up to wake up but more time with the child moving and doing different things. This is hopefully pediatricians, you know, if they see something going on right away, they're gonna address it with the family yes. before it gets to that point. And I mean, we have a lot of people that come into our office and they have that problem and they're like about getting a helmet. Okay, well, we see what's going on. There's still a lot of growth, you know, they may not, you know, this is something you can do year and a half up to, you know, basically 18 months. In the, they come in, the child's only nine months old, 10 months old, and you see, we've sat there and say, oh well, wait, you, we, we've gone over it, their doctor's gone over it as far as in the th they're getting some physical therapy, as far as what to do to stop always being in that position. Come back in two weeks, we'll reevaluate. It's not gonna change anything. Start seeing changes. We've done this and never had to put a helmet yeah, on somebody. It. After a month, six weeks, it's like, wow, look at the change. It did it on its own. You don't need to do this. So you can see the skull we have a um, sort of a protocol measurement. The way we, we measure, we take different measurements so we can see where it is. Come back in two weeks, we can compare. Come back in two weeks. We do the same thing if somebody does have a helmet, but we'll do it. No, you know, no problem. Just come back into our office. Ten minutes, we'll, re, re, we'll see what's going on. We can actually see, justify those changes, not just, I don't know. You know, the parents are yeah. seeing it every day. They can't tell if they see yeah. changes. Two weeks they come back, we can see that change. Usually we'll take photos and we'll also take the measurements. And how old can a child be to still use this cranial? About a year and a half, may give or take, because at that point, once the suture lines, because there's different plates yes. of the skull, once they fuse together, you really can't do anything anymore. Wow. But you still have enough time and a child's growing so quick at that age yeah. that you can really yeah. do something. I mean, we just had a young guy and they weren't too sure and he was a little later in the time frame when he got the helmet. And do they have to wear this but, helmet 24 hours a day? Yep, yes. For how long? Um, until the doctor yeah. says throw it away. Could it be like a week? No, usually you're talking two, three months minimum, but maybe six months. Is it painful? No, nope, not at all. Do they get, do, I, I, I know if I had to wear a helmet, the kids, children are so adaptable, it's amazing. It you put it on, they cry the first few times, they're putting it on, and all of a sudden they come back for a change, and they're just sitting there ha happy as can be. doesn't make a bit of difference to kids. They adapt so well. well that's good. Us old people, yeah. completely different story. You know, like I get a hangnail, and it's, you know, <laughs> whatever it is. These kids, it's, you know, they're out there. It makes no difference. Once they get used to it, you know, a couple days, and you don't put it on and wear it the first day for 23 and a half hours. Yeah. You know, it's a wearing schedule. You get used to it, yeah. take it off, put it on. You, but once it's on, it's, you know, it's like wearing shoes. We wear shoes all day long. You know, and it's not designed, we're not trying to press the skull where it's too much. We're just trying to have, you know, con you know constant contact where that's going on and have a void 
where we need to grow. So it's not yes. like we're trying to push it. We're just trying to hold those areas where they are and allow the growth to happen somewhere it's else. Like you're stabilizing it. Exactly. It go. Yep. Yeah. You're not trying to squeeze no, this right. so that goes out. Right. No, it's not like a balloon where you push one way and it goes out the other. We're not trying to do that. 